Good morning. In Habakkuk, the Old Testament prophet, he was praying and prophesying and he was hearing nothing from God. And he was seeing nothing take place about all the prophecies he had made. He says in verse 2 of chapter 1, O Lord, how long shall I cry and you will not hear? How many times do we feel like that? Lord, I've been praying about this for a long time. It's like you're not hearing me. God, I've been crying out to you, but I don't feel anything. I don't see anything. I don't hear anything. What am I to do? What do you want me to do, Lord? Well, immediately it comes back to me, wait on the Lord to be a good courage, and you'll strengthen your heart. We know that, but we've been waiting, right? Well, Isaiah chapter 55, God says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, in verse 8, and my ways are not your ways. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. But then he goes on to say, As the rain comes down, waters the earth, he says it makes it bring forth in bud and give seed. Uh, to the plants, and, and, and they, they spring up. He said, so shall be my word that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return void. It will accomplish what I please. It will do what God has said it would do. Now, and then he goes on to say, for you will go out in joy, and you'll be led out with peace, and the mountains and hill, hills shall break forth into singing before you. Now you say, that'd be great. I'd go for that. But you've missed something. I've missed something so many times. His ways are higher than my ways. Habakkuk's answer came back, yeah, I'm going to take care of these people. I'm going to let the Babylonians take care of them and take them into captivity, Judah. And then he was dumbfounded. He said, how can you do that? That's, that's, I would rather you not even answered me. Sometimes God knows what we can take, or obviously he does know, but we're praying about something and God's holding for the right second to reveal that to us. Let me ask you a question. Is what's taking place in my life, does it have potential to make me more like Christ? Think about that for just a minute. This situation that seems to be unsolvable, impossible, Silence is over it. Like this dome, this cloud, this shroud that is just settled in like a deep fog. Nothing. God can never be saying nothing to you as a child. He is waiting for the right second. He is not abandoning you. You've never been abandoned. You've been chosen for God. Chosen for a work. Chosen for something great. Trust that this infinite power that God has and this infinite love and infinite wisdom, infinite goodness, will do exactly what you need in the right moment, in the right second. How many times do your kids say to you, Dad, when are you going to do that? When are you going to do that? And you say, okay, when the time's right. Uh, when it's right. When it's right. They're going, well, you never do it. You know what? The time wasn't right. But when it is right, then you do it. And so we know that philosophy. But when it's applied to us, it becomes rather difficult. God doesn't say things to us sometimes because the timing's not right. What is the answer? Praise him for the silence and keep praying and keep praising and keep trusting that his word will never return void in your life. And it won't. God bless you. Have an awesome day.